The legacy lives on. Barely two months after the sad passing on of former Zimbabwe and Highlanders midfield workhorse Richard Choroma, colleagues and other associates have moved to ensure that Choroma's dream to develop raw talent in his Mzilegazi neighborhood remains alive. Key to a kind gesture that will make quite a positive difference to the lives of the young players in Mzilegazi are two Zimbabweans in the diaspora, Ntantan Shaksispanda based in New Zealand and Emmanuel Pablo Kumalo currently residing in the United Kingdom. The two put hands together and driven by the spirit to carry on Richard Choruma's legacy, they delivered food hampers to Mzilegazi football club players, a team that Richard Choruma served so well as official. <laughs> Indeed, the gesture from Emmanuel Pablo Kumalo and Ntlantan Laksispanda, inspired by the spirit of Choruma, hit home, and parents are delighted that their sons in the game at least bring something home worth the while. Why Poradin at Alisa? Ingen a good division one. If I let a manama teamers at Lago Premier, Isua Conalapem Zigas Gamachovana, Yena, Omum Zigas Omkulu, in City Minanga Mafichani, in City Chovacho and Jango Isumachovana, Epit Elmiam and Omdo Melted on his neighbors, Zamatota, Umfichan or Gitun Jobas Nyatel, as about his Nyatel, as about the Muchalas and Zara Connors about the Unsitella. By it, was it? By it and the best it, Sabo. Mother to former Zimbabwe and Amazulu goalkeeper Mzondi Wamgadza was honored and attended the event to present the food hampers. She praised the work of Ntlantla and Emmanuel, pointing out that it motivated parents to encourage their children into the sport. <laughs> Ntlantan Sakspanda and Emmanuel Pablo Kumalo may be far away in the diaspora engaged with matters of their own livelihood, but their deeds do keep a dream alive for the young players back home who toil every day without reward, yet maintain patience that one day things shall be fine. And as if to keep the flame of their hopes burning, Nlax and Pablo delivered. <laughs> Things are hard. COVID lockdown regulations have left many a family facing hunger, but the management of Mziliga's football club are dug deep and in concert with their partners abroad made sure the players would carry home something to smile about. Manda Mzaziba is the man in charge of Mziliga's football club's finances and he expressed appreciation to their benefactors, emphasizing that any amount of assistance was of immense help to the team. So, over my is banning on my amp, but what he about the appreciation would know about to know with Latisia Zam, a covet, Abula Abandaba Sevens, I listen to Latisia Zam, seven, some of my sevens with Okonoko Kukona, what is one that you would labor, Sasa Bonavata, which I laugh and I've been a loser of movie talent, Econa, Lapic Guedem Zilgat. Nowadays, the game of football is administered in a holistic way and it was the vision of Mzilega's football club leadership to empower all its players with various skills regardless of one's talent on the field of play. Club administrator Mayfield Daka said there was so much their club was doing for the players and the injection of food hampers by their benefactors in the diaspora was manifestation of a long-time strategy born during the days of Choruma's leadership. We had a strategic plan which we had with the late Richard because we had meetings with the board of helping Abafana uh, in many ways because we know some average players they will not make it in football so we had made plans with the Akulumalama technical colleges uh, like Westgate, uh, Ochaga Center, Utbeens in Sevens so that they can survive uh, as skilled workers. Then Abipora, uh, 
a extreme good. Then you will have both academic good and be good in football. We had sourced uh, some uh, guys in the in the states to get them a AMA scholarship. It is quite pleasing that Mziligazi Football Club are leaving no stone unturned in their efforts to nurture responsible players that shun bad habits, usually a threat to many a career. In their setup, Mziligazi have one of the best talents ever to emerge from the Bulawayo football community, Lindani Limpa Karairwa, whose career was cut short before reaching greater heights after his interests digressed. Limpa now sacrifices most of his time towards counseling the youths on the dangers of drugs and alcohol abuse. This is affecting the whole world, the pandemic that we are in. But secondly, we, we, we need to, 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 to get these, uh, these youngsters together, that, that togetherness. Because if they go out of the soccer, the fraternity of soccer, if they go out, they start, you know, being involved in drugs, alcohol. They babbling a lot to all of them, so they are they are forced to do whatever is, is in the you know this community. It produces a lot of good. It has produced a lot of good players. So we want them to be the next Peter Kabu, to be the next Benjamin Konjera, to be the next Mzondo Mkabla, and of course Richard Choroma. So by that we must be there. We just know we don't have to just to say I have a that we are training. We must make a follow up on their homes, starting from what we are doing now. Limpa does not miss his words and says that because of his experience he will take the alcohol and drug problem amongst the young players head on. That's for me, Olimpa. I will make sure whatever because I know the things that hinder uh, uh, players, talented players, from progressing in soccer. So I think I'm a good person for this job. I'll try to make sure I won't be involved too much in, in coaching and things like that. I'll be involved partly with soccer, but inside soccer, but partly making sure that the boys will come for training. The boys will love soccer. The boys will prosper. We are there for that. If the spirit of Choruma currently inherent in most of his colleagues carries on, surely the fruits of his vision are just a matter of time before realized. At Mziliga's youth centre, almost every player to become prominent for Bulawayo Giants Highlanders and now lower division as Zimbabwe Saints passed through this dusty piece of pitch, now even outgrown up by grass and weeds. Club treasurer Manlenko Simlaziba said the facilities may have degenerated over the years, but the centre still attracts very talented players, more so with various legends making themselves available for motivation. However, he said more contributions like those of Ntantan Tlax and Emmanuel Pablo would enhance nurturing of talent at the center. <laughs> And our need, Lavoti, was a figure my ground in a pezuru, Lavamelo Casu Cadiz a pansy, old Cassel a pezu, Labon to go to I, Utu's way in daughter, Kumele Lau Cadiz a pansy, Jangabaya Bandu, Lau, Uzazu figure, Lapomelo figure con. One soccer legend with the desire to keep churning talent from the youth center is Johan Singozo, who invests a lot of his personal time to keep her the boys' feet and shake off the rust of the lockdown. Ngozo is grateful to the contributions of Ntlanta Smanda and Emmanuel Kumalo. So I'm trying to help my club. So I'm trying to help people in Kompon. So I'm, I'm giving back. 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 I'm giving Wherever Choruma may be, he should be delighted that the legacy of his work is preserved with the legends of the game, sacrificing their time to ensure that the dream lives on. For Choruma's legacy, they are living souls both home and abroad, already active to take forward the dream and ensure it was not just graveside speech, but action that would fulfill the deceased's ambition. Physically, he has passed on, but spiritually, he is still here. And we are so grateful that we are finishing what he started. And we all the guys, as I'm talking to Mayfield, Daga, you know, all the guys, Johnson Goes is here, they're all carrying the same 
a vision that he carried. So we'll make sure. The good works of a hero live long after his physical life. Choruma's deeds are clearly a guiding light of those that remain, and wherever opportunity arises, there is no hesitation to fulfill his dream on developing talent for boys in the neighborhood. If all could emulate the gesture of Ntlantan Tlaxispanda and Emmanuel Pablo Kumalo, the vision of our departed heroes in football and elsewhere would without doubt become reality and they would not turn in their graves. For television spot media in the Bulawayo, I'm Tandazani Zimra.